Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Memoria. This is the second game of the uh, Dark Eye series of Daedalic. They, I did play um, the Chains of Stanislav, Svartislav, some Russian name, <laughs> a few years ago or last year. Uh, I, don't, I can't remember anymore. It was on stream. And I decided to play the second game now. Uh, ignore this resume game, I just started to check if everything is working, so... I did watch a let's play of this really long ago, so I have a rough idea of what's happening. If I remember correctly, you don't necessarily need to know the first game in order to enjoy this one. It's not necessary, so yeah. Let's see, let's, let's start a new game. I hope the music is fine. I will check it after this video. I did do some uh, sound checks and it was fine, in my opinion. But yeah, let's see. New game. So a new game, yes. By the gods, this is a good start. Where did these people set up their tent? <sighs> If there's nothing around the next bend, I'm turning around. Would you like an instruction to the game? Yes. Click on a point in the forest to walk there. Okay. Done. There we go. You didn't see this tent from like here already. It's like pretty huge. Ah, oh, dear. Hey. Asshole here. If you hit the, I, I love this. I love hotspot indicators in adventure games. I if you press, press the space bar or the mouse wheel, then you see all the hotspots that are available, and it's it's wonderful. Let's go to the clearing. Finally. Hey you, little girl. Giacomo Nauta sent me. I'm here about the riddle. Um, do you speak Garetti? I'm a friend. Giacomo told you I would come. He spoke of the hero of Andergast, a strong, courageous and clever man. Not someone I can slice open from head to foot in the blink of an eye. I am the hero of Andergast. <coughs> can you do magic? Heal things with fairy magic? The way the hero healed the dreams of an Andergastrian was magic? It wasn't quite like that, but yes, I can repair things magically. Then prove it. This before me is the Flying Fortress Kishari. I recreated it from my dreams. But no matter what I do, it keeps tipping over. Use your magic to make it stand up, and I'll let you see my father. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Click on the Steel Fortress to make it stand upward. With the white mouse butt, you can take a closer look at it. I would have never expected this to be a girl, to be quite honest. A small fortress made of sticks. It keeps tipping over. Use your magic to make it stand up, and I'll let you see my father. No magic necessary here. Hmm. hmm. Garon has a spell. He can use his toy or repair fragile or breakable things. Move the mouse to the lower edge of the screen to open the inventory. Then click on the magic orb that appears on the left edge. Ah, repair and destruct. Watch and learn. Learn that you have a big mouth? The fortress isn't broken, it's just badly made. Don't make excuses. Use your magic to make it stand up, and I'll let you see my father. The stick fortress is the only interesting object in this clearing. To display all hotspots, press the space bar now. Take a look around and explore your surroundings. Maybe you will find something that can help you fix the stick fortress. Or maybe I can just punch her in the face. <laughs> Take the dagger. All right, all right. I have my own knife. Do I? Oh, yes. And, oh, newbie's necklace. I have absolutely, absolutely no idea anymore what happened in the last game. <laughs> At least the ending is, like, gone. You're now carrying the bottle. Items can be used in other items and hot spots. Move the mouse to the lower edge of the screen to open inventory and use one of your items on another. You can also use the mouse wheel to scroll through your items and spells. I have multiple spells. Uh, I doubted that. Can I 
Well, look, I broke the bottle. What are you doing? Don't worry, I just want to try something. If you get stuck, click on the small book at the right of your edge of inventory. From now on, you're on your own. Oh no! Explore your surroundings, take whatever you can get your hands on, and talk to the people you meet. Anything could be a hint, and don't forget your spells. Okay. Oh. May I go in now? Papa, there's someone here claiming to be a hero. Send him in. If you truly are the hero, then you're a bit boring. You remind me more of a stupid, grumpy peasant. I'm a bird catcher, and I no longer care what others think of me. I rescued a fairy, and I freed a kingdom. I don't have to prove anything to anyone. All right, all right. Go in. But watch your back. I'm right behind you. Ah, Geron. How nice. That's a huge tent. Oh. Sit. Sit. Are you Fahi? Yes. Sit down. Did you find this place all right? Yeah, yeah. I was told that you sell a spell that can permanently change a person's form. A, a person's? Monkey, or an animal's. But everything in its time. Tea? Sure. All right. Ah, a man of taste. That's good. Andergast is cold, is it not? It's all right. But about that spell... Of course. You understand that permanent physical transformation is a formidable power. It demands a great deal of courage to request such power. I have my reasons. I know. Giacomo told me as much. You know my price. Giacomo said something about a riddle. Correct. You like riddles, Geron, don't you? Yeah. Of course I like riddles. I wouldn't be here otherwise. Excellent! I knew I could count on you. You'll carry it with you for a while, twist it and turn it in your mind, and perhaps even despair briefly. But when you finally solve it, the reward will be much sweeter. Where did you get this riddle anyway? For more than three moons, my daughter and I have both had the same dream every night. It's even more wondrous that this dream tells a true story, a memory from a time 450 years ago, when our world faced its greatest battle. Greatest I will now battle. tell you the beginning of the dream. You don't <clears throat> need to know more. And then, the riddle. If you can solve it, you'll receive the power to restore your beloved. And if not? Garon, you are the hero of Andergast. Of course you'll solve it. So... Are you ready? We'll all be dead by the time you solve it. Thanks, stuff. Fuck off. I'm ready. I'm ready. Good. The dream begins, as I said, 450 years ago, in an ancient vault far beneath my home city of Fazar. The powers of darkness threaten the land, and the great and decisive battle is imminent. When one night, a group of heroes enters the tomb of an ancient mogul mage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Zelt could tell us a lot about if these things are correct, like if there was a huge battle of Fort but 50 years ago or whatever. Then again, I have no idea where this place. Whoa, music, loud! Okay. I should be saying something, but let me let me reduce the music. For me at least. <laughs> I have no idea if you guys can understand anything I'm saying, but let's hope for the best. Otherwise I will fix this all in the second video, so no worries, no worries.
Memoria. Chapter One. Okay. Prepare yourselves. I shall open the burial chamber now. Are we all here? All here, for crying out loud. It could have been worse. Sure, we could have lost the mute Varkina too, or the dainty princess who can't fight. <sighs> Calm yourself, Shabib. You're not the only one whose nerves are frayed. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did the princess have to see a little blood? Did it break her tender heart? Yes. Crack. Now you'll have to endure me without one. Princess Zadja, Alric, we must stick together. The legendary mask of Malachar lies within this burial chamber. If we succeed in bringing it to the Holy Army in the Rashtulian Wall, the battle against the demons will be mere child's play. If we succeed, and these walls don't swallow us up first. I'm working as fast as I can. Well, how we up? Stupid elf. Mage uh, or whatever you I are. I can't find the lock. Give Idiot. me a moment. It has to be here somewhere. Your mom has to be here. I can go back to the hall. I can uh, check out the... Let's, let's talk to Rak Rakvan. Why did the Furkina people cast you out? None of your business. True. Your past is your problem alone. All that counts is that you lead us safely through the mountains to the army. I just want my money, and soon. You don't talk much, do you? Correct. Nope. <laughs> Magician. Mage. Princess. Why exactly did you choose us as companions? Who are you talking about in particular? Well, I don't know, the warrior. Can that mercenary over there do anything other than hit things and yell? <laughs> That's more than you can do, Poppet. Alric Pop keeps the monsters at bay. He's a good man. Will Rachvan really accompany us to the end? Yes. As soon as we're finished here, he'll lead us through the Rashtulian Wall to the Holy Army. He grew up in those mountains. He knows the way better than any other. You do know that Farkina's an outcast, don't you? Even his own people fear him. We have no other choice. We need him. How did a mage like you come to lead a group such as this? I wanted to join the army in Punin when a nobleman from Fazar told me about the mask. The rest was a question of money and determination. It's all this money. What was Harun's role? He was your personal bodyguard. He was <laughs> supposed to protect Oh, I forgot. Which he did. Right up until the end. I am sorry about him. He knew the risks. The important thing is that you're still alive. Yeah, yeah, I'm important. Did you specifically look for a princess? No. I sent for a Ptolemied scholar. But those are hard to find in these bloody days. Only a few are able to defend themselves and not fall victim to the marauding bands currently battling for dominance in Fazar. The streets of Fazar have always been a screaming nightmare. And thus, it's an even greater miracle that you survived there for so long. You're the outcast heiress of a toppled ruler. I would not have bet my ducats on you. Enough of that. What's our mission? What do we do next? We force our way into the burial what chamber are we actually the doing here? and steal the Mask of Malachar. Then we take it over the peaks of the Rashtulian Wall to the Holy Army before they march into battle. And there we triumph or perish miserably. The future of this world is in our hands. Ah. Yeah, I, I try my best to not talk too much doing uh, their speeches and the voice acting is quite good. I will talk a lot more in between, you know, when I try to f solve riddles and stuff like that. So no worries, no worries. <laughs> How deep are we? Only the gods know. Fazar was built up layer by layer on the ruins of older dynasties. Beneath that lay vaults as ancient as the land itself. This burial chamber, for example, was erected 2,000 years ago by the last living Mughal mage, Malakar. Malakar. It is said he was a grand master of elemental and transformation magic. He could bend ore and earth to his will with the snap of his fingers. These halls were his greatest and last piece of work. Are you sure that the mask waits behind these walls? Yes, quite sure. No one knows where the Mughal Malakar obtained the mask or if he even created it himself. But he was so obsessed with it and its power that he ultimately took it with him to his grave. It's also said 
that he never succeeded in awakening its true power while he lived. What does it do? They say that the wearer of the mask can turn any lost battle, indeed any defeat and any loss at all, into an enduring victory. That's cheating. Why is it called the Holy Army? The Holy Army is an army of clerics. Only with the holy might of the gods, so it is believed, can we withstand the attacking hordes of demons. You said the army is advancing over the Rashtulian Mountains. Why such a difficult route? Most of the passes are guarded by the legions of evil. In addition, there's a magical place across the peaks of the Rashtulian Wall where they hope to forge a final, crucial alliance. We'll join the army there. How could it come to this? An invasion of evil in our age? There are always dark times, Princess. But what exactly brought them about no longer matters. The only important thing is that we're prepared to fight. The greatest heroes of our age have gathered to fight the decisive battle in the Gorian Desert. And to, and to go down in history forever. If we win. Aren't you starting to get tired of prattling? He's right. We have to continue. Do you have no more questions? What's the problem? The lock is hidden. I can't find it. Some sort of secret mechanism. Perhaps an objectum disparatic. Whatever it may be, you have to open it. An objectum disparatic. What? Uh, a warrior? He's a good warrior, but he doesn't deserve to be told so. <laughs> what did you call me before? Shabib. That's Tula Media for Little Boy. Without me, you'd be long dead. Please, no quarrels. She started it. I've only known him since yesterday, and I already know more about him than he does about me. He knows what this is about, but he's not the strong leader he pretends to be. Oh, he's a mage. <laughs> now to get the key into the lock, and then the door will be open. Where do you see a lock? The door is covered in filth. What does a princess know about filth? Enough to know that it can be washed off. <gasps> That's good news for you, isn't it? What are you trying to say? Tss. Silence, please! I need quiet. Could you guys stop bickering? Gosh. Do I have anything? I have a ruby. I don't even know where I should start. Well, I don't know either. <laughs> the Guardian! I hope that was the last. Stay down. What are these pillars? They're watching me. I feel a throbbing, <laughs> and they're warm, like a sick heart. Oh, baby, you can feel a throbbing in me too. <laughs> Ornamental arc. Nothing. Okay, what's here? It looks like blood. I'm not touching that. It looks sticky and poisonous. I'm not touching that. A finely worked ornamental arch with swirls and patterns. Stay away from the guardians, princess. Even their detached limbs still have some life in them. Ugh. The guardians are more fragile than they look. Well, let's go to the hall. You have a no? death wish. Oh. You saw what kind of creatures are running around out there. Yeah, I don't care. If this is what the princesses in this country are like, I would hate to see the kings. <laughs> don't worry, you won't. The last caliph of Fazar was skinned alive five moons ago. Ugh. Was he a tyrant? Yes, like every ruler in this city. Besides... What? Did you see the tattoo on her arm? I believe it's the mark of Malachar. She's a direct descendant. We brought the great, 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 great granddaughter of an accursed mogul mage monster into his burial chamber. Are you out of your mind? She's a good person, trust me, and we'll soon need her. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Let's see, there's another guardian, a hand. Fracture, tomb entrance, colossus, ruins. Gosh, there's so much to explore. Let's talk with the Guardian, why not? Can you hear me? I'm sorry about your broken legs. It's very lonesome down here. Aww. But one step closer, and we'll break your neck as well. It was that way when we arrived. 
Who knows if we would have won otherwise? The legacy of these hands held me prisoner my whole life. But today, I will finally free myself. Oh, Kasim, you'll regret what you've done to me. Ooh. Oh well, can I save? Main menu, view hotspots, quest log. I have a quest log, that's quite awesome. Save game, save here. Wonderful! Anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see each other soon. So take care, hit the like button, show it to your mom, show it on everyone on Facebook. <laughs> and yeah, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see each other soon. So take care and hit the like button.